Hello everybody. As you know, in the last video, part two, I discussed this switch. You have your dot 22 over here and your 25 UF on the bottom. Now, one side is permanently grounded over here. This is a ground wire. The green goes to the black and the black goes to ground. And on this side, this guy, this green wire, goes to right here, which is the top end of this 1.5, which then goes to this maroon colored or red wire to pin 3 of V2. And this just, the switch just switches between no bypass cap in the center. If you put the uh, switch towards the front of the amp, you're selecting the dot 22. And if you put it this way, it's full 5E3, okay? Okay, I had shown you previously the removal of the input jacks, okay? So now we have one input jack over here. This one is blank. This one has the master volume, and this has your uh, cathode switching for the for V2. Okay, now the way I wired V1, these are 34k resistors. They're tied together over here and go back to the input jack. Okay, so the input jack is now feeding uh, pin 2 and pin 7, which are the inputs for V1. So uh, that's how you get away with removing the other jacks. Okay, what else? Okay, now as far as the master volume goes, move you away. Normally there's a 1 meg resistor that goes from this eyelet to the shared eyelet between the 1.5 and the 56K. What you're going to do is remove that resistor. You then have to add your master volume in whatever hole you're going to put it in. There was a wire under here. Actually, the wire is still here. I did not remove it. There's no reason to remove it. It's underneath the board, and it goes to this dot 022 terminal right here, which is now the feed to the master volume. Okay? So, currently, this signal goes from the dot 022 into this shielded cable right into the potentiometer, and it goes out, and it's going to feed right where... Uh, V2 pin 7, where this wire that used to be over here used to go straight up into where this is now soldered in place. Okay, and now the ground wire from the potentiometer sits here, it doesn't go directly to ground, it's uh, an elevated ground, if you will. Uh, it's at the joint between the 1.5 and the 56K, which is grounded. Uh, if you ground this somewhere else, uh, especially if you ground it to ground, your master volume won't work. 